James 4.10 Humble yourselves before the Lord and He will exalt you. Humble yourselves before the Lord. Humility. It is not being humiliated. It is not being made fun of or degraded in front of other people or you know, by somebody. Uh, humility is taking a stance of lowliness, taking the low ground, going low, saying, I submit, saying, there's much greater than I. There's much that I don't know. That's being humble. That's being inflated and being egotistical is saying, I'm the highest, I'm the best. Right? You hear the boxers, they're always taught to think that they're the best because they need to have that mindset to win the boxing match. But the Christian is different. The Christian has to have the mindset of being last so that others can be first, for being weak so that God can show his strength, for being humble so that God can exalt. We do not exalt ourselves. God exalts us. And we're not even in it for the exaltation. We're not in it for being lifted up. We're not in it for getting credit. We're not in it for becoming famous. You know, oh, just to, to have my name in the book of life is is fame enough that I would be famous with the Lord, that he would know my name. And he already knows it. He even knows the lost names. He knows the very hairs on all his creation, all his mankind's heads. He knows us. And so we need to humble ourselves in three different ways. We need to humble ourselves to God. We need to humble ourselves before the men and women of God who are our elders. And we need to humble ourselves to, well, to other lost people. Yes, to other lost people. Because we need to show them that it is the strength of God. We are nothing. God is everything. So, for sure, humble yourself before the mighty hand of God. Come to Him and with a humble and contrite spirit so that He will hear your prayers so that your prayers will not be hindered. Come to God humbly so that He sees and, and feels in your heart that you are lowering yourself to His mighty hand, to His mighty ways, to mighty God Creator. You, We must humble ourselves to God. And then we must humble ourselves to the men and women of God who are working and who have... And give them double honor, praise God, the ones who are working overtime in the Lord, for the Lord, as shepherds, and I, I even say as sub-shepherds, you know, uh, they are, you know, the watchdogs, the, sh the, the sheep dogs, right? That's, that's the ministry. That's the ministers. Even your Sunday school teacher, even, even your worship leader is a sheep dog. And we're out there working with the shepherd to keep all the sheep together and in unity with Christ. So the God, the elders of the church, and then we need to humble ourselves to the lost. Does that mean that we do everything that the law says? Uh, no, we know that they are blinded by the world, the flesh, and the devil. No, it means that in certain situations, we show them that we're, we're, we're just messengers, sojourners, pilgrims. Praise God. We, we listen to and obey a higher authority, of course. But when it comes to hum, human kindness and the value of human life and the value of human of of uh, the human spirit, we take the low ground and we lift up our neighbor and we lift up those who are destitute. What did Jesus come for? To bind, to loosen, to bring peace, to bring healing. He came to serve, and so we come to serve. We come to serve. And that kind of humility will bring us into the service so that we can serve God, our elders in the church, and the lost. And then, our exaltation, it's in the book of life. We get to be with Jesus. Till next time, may the Lord richly bless you. Mobile, uh, mobile Steve, mobile teacher, mobile preacher. Titles really don't matter when you have humility. Till next time, may the Lord richly bless you.